in this video i'll be showing you one of the tool within the power toys tool named as workspaces so i'll just go ahead and trigger power toys so i've installed power toys within my system and the latest version as of today is so if you see this i have opened well power toys and if i click on open settings and if i click over here what's new then you will be able to see the release number v.86 now within here i have uh, an application so if you navigate to window in and layouts here you will see something called as a workspace now what is a workspace workspace is a quick and easy way to launch a set of applications to custom positions and configuration with one click so you have an option to turn on and off the workspace so you need to enable the workspace first and the activation shortcut is windows control and the back tick and you can change that activation shortcut now you can open the editor by just by clicking over here so i'll just click over here and then it will open the editor so i'll just close this editor and i'll close this power toys and i'll use a keyboard shortcut windows control and the back tick the moment i do that it will again open the same workspace editor now how do we create a layout basically first uh, so the use case is basically like if you want to uh, open a set of application positioned well within your screen then you can use this workspace editor so the use case would be like say take for example if you're doing some uh, specific work like if you want to uh say what i do is like uh, i use a workspace to basically uh create uh say video so if i want to create a video i want a set of application to be open like if i'm doing some graphic related work i want some set of application to be open and positioned within the screen if i'm doing some office related work then i have i need to have some sort of application uh open um uh, in the screen now office related work uh, i would be requiring outlook teams so these are the two applications which i use more frequently so i want that window to be opened uh, when i'm doing graphic related work i want uh, a browser with ms designer or ms paint opened within that screen so just to show you how this works is like you create a workspace and the workspace will be stored over here now you can create multiple workspaces now i've created two workspaces over here now here i have i in this workspace it opens calculator and notepad so if i launch this then it automatically opens calculator and notepad plus plus and it positions well within the screen right now again we'll go back to the workspaces editor over here and now i'll open the second workspace which is clock and paint so if i click on launch it will open the clock and the paint application so this is how you basically trigger and open the workspace whatever you desire coming back again to the workspace editor what i'm going to do now i'm going to create a workspace so first what i will do is um, i will just close all the applications which i have within my system so i'm just closing all the application and now i'm in the workspace editor screen now here what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a workspace. Now, before you create a workspace, let's open a couple of applications. So, uh, so take for example, if I want to open uh, two notepad side by side, so notepad 2e and notepad plus uh, plus, and uh, I will open MS Paint. Okay, so MS Paint, so let me open MS Paint. So this is MS Paint application. So I'll just open it and keep. Then I will open Notepad++. And then I'll open Notepad 2E. So these are the three applications which I've opened. Now I want to position this in the screen. So first what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, hover over this icon over here just to keep the positioning right. So I want Notepad to be Notepad 2E to be open here. So I'll select that then on this side i want paint and on this side i want notepad plus plus now this is my layout i'm i'm sure that this is what i want when i uh, i i click on that workspace so 
going back to workspace editor windows control and the back tick and i'll say create a workspace so i'll click on create a workspace and then it will ask me to position the screen so i have already positioned the screen so i'll what i need to do just now is to click on capture i'll click on capture and i would call it as two notepads and paint so i can name it anything right and i'll just say click on save workspace now as we see over here i have two screens so i'm currently recording this video using microsoft clip jam so it is it has taken that screen as well i have an option to remove screen one so i don't do not want screen one to be loaded so i'll just say click on remove then these are the minimized apps so even i can remove that minimized app as well okay and now what i have is screen two just a screen two and i have notepad plus plus notepad 2 e and paint so as you see over here this animation changes if i hover my mouse over it now what are the other options you have you have an option to launch as an admin in a maximized state in a minimized state and you can even configure the left top width height uh, position of this particular application similarly you will have the same settings for uh, the other applications as well so you can even pass cli arguments if you want to open some specific component similarly for the paint application you have cli arguments launch as admin maximized and minimized and once you're done with it just click on save workspace okay now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna close everything so i'm just closing everything over here okay so there's nothing in my system now now if i want to open the specific workspace windows control back tick or you can open power toys application and then uh, launch it now the one the workspace which we have created is two notepads and paint so i'll click on launch and it will start loading the application and once it is loaded yes this is what the workspace which you desired has been loaded so this is useful when you want to get a starting point when you boot your laptop or when you uh, want to work on some specific application what you can do is like close all the applications uh, and then you open power toys application and then from that power toys application you can trigger any of the workspaces so this is useful when you want to uh, do not want to get into the time of uh, uh, wasting time in uh, opening the application and then positioning it within the screen so this gives you a ready-made functionality to use and to set the applications as you desire within the screen now this is very useful if you have multiple screens so it loads all these windows in the multiple screens as well so that's it folks uh, this is the new feature within the power toys applications do play around with this application uh, it is nice you can create as many workspaces as you can uh, and then within this grid you can search if you have more than say five or six workspaces then you can even search by name and also you can sort by the last launch created date and the name of the workspace and if you want to make some changes then there is an also an option to edit so you can play around with the the applications which you have added into a workspace and even there is an option to create a desktop shortcut so take for example if you want to create a desktop shortcut for calc notepad so i'll create a desktop shortcut i'll click on save workspace now i'll close all the application think about it like i'm booting my system now now as you see over here it has created an icon called as calc notepad now you need not even open power toys application right to trigger earlier what we used to do is like we used to press windows control the back tick and then it used to load the workspace and then from that uh, you were triggering the application now as you have created shortcut you need not do anything you just say calc notepad click on it and then it will automatically open the application and position within your screen so that's it folks thanks for watching